Hi guys, this is Eric from TechShare. So last video, I showed you how can you configure your Sitecore to use um, as your AD provider to log into Sitecore. So I have used, uh, I had used uh, the approach of uh, using Sitecore Identity Server to do that. But today, what if uh, people don't have Sitecore Identity Server in, in Sitecore? So they can turn off the identity server as well, right? So in that scenario, how you are going to approach with that app, that implementation? So yeah, I mean, of course, you can do that as well. Insightcore has that kind of facility to do that. So what you need to do is uh, you can see here. So this is kind of the classical approach you can see. So if you refresh, then you'll see. Uh, so this is not redirecting to Sitecore identity server means it is using the same old uh, approach uh, to log into Sitecore. So yeah, of course, you can do here admin and your password but what we are going to approach here is we'll add a button here and literally we are going to log in the same way that we did before so for that what you need to do is uh, <clears throat> that is also easy so what i did before is um, uh, we let me open my so here what i did is uh, if you go site core and uh, your um site core uh your win the dot identity server right so this one is disabled so once this is disabled means it will not use identity server site core identity server i'm talking about i did that and then what i introduce is um in the include I have okay so for that uh, so you can even use uh, configuration so you really you really don't need to do to to write uh, code for that but uh, I did a kind of approach where I have created this small project through that you can easily uh, configure that and you can even you know implement some custom logic while you are you are implementing that so so basically let me show you how what I did so this folder and basically this is the configuration that i have used so yeah okay well so this configuration it looks really messy and looks really complex but you don't need to worry about anything what i can you can do is you can you can grab that example or basically what i did is i went to this site core identity implementation one so this identity server i grabbed that one pasted that one i rename with this one and then i actually you know uh, commented out those i really don't need that so this is kind of you don't need this one and then yeah basically most of them will not be required but what you need to do is you need this information first of all the settings where you are going to put all client id and this instance stand and then redirect uri and this pipeline this is important because this is where you are going to implement your um your pipeline basically this processor will be uh, used to connect to the external provider and do whatever you need to do to get the token and do whatever normally we do to authenticate uh, kind of a SSO kind of thing when we implement, then we do that. So you need to introduce this processor as well so that this is the place where you will do. So basically this is the processor I have implemented and I put some some kind of you know logic to, to that so that you know this is kind of pretty um yeah it's straight it's straightforward okay so another thing i did is basically you don't need to customize anything you can use the default implementation of everything sitecore out of the box provides but yeah it's sometimes you know it's easy to use your own custom one for example this one here so that's that and this is basically the federated authentication so this is the one of the i would say the so in the federated authentication um there are a couple of things so you can you can you know get the same kind of thing from that uh, identity server configuration but the thing you need to use here is this identity providers this one so this one i have used this azure ad means i will have somewhere azure ad so it is part of identity providers and then identity provider so this is your identity providers and identity provider so this is basically i'm referring to this one as you ready so this configuration i'm going to use here so you can actually have your multiple identity provider in this list identity providers and you can basically map that on as well so if you look uh, you know a bit into this uh, configuration then you'll understand it's kind of self-explanatory so what i did here 
so this user builder and this is azure ad provider app so this is my app you can see here azure ad provider app here in the right so this user builder basically is my user builder so here i have used this user builder because uh, i i was needed to implement my own custom well you can actually do through the default uh, user builder through through different different mapping property initialization here but i thought okay that would be easier for me so what i have introduced here is this user builder where this is basically this default external user builder so i have extended that one and then i put some logic here so that yeah i mean that will make sure that your user will be when you will get the you know data or you can say the authorization from your azure ad then what you will do is you will make sure that user is being created to the site query system and uh, yeah so i i was needed to to you know do some little customization here so that i did and uh, there is this property initialization as well basically i what i understand is you really don't need to do this so what you can do is you can configure everything through that but through uh through here basically here but uh, as thought as thought i was thinking okay let's do the customization so that what for that i i use this uh user property initialization patch or you can say custom implementation id for that so you can basically use this um, property initialization directly but instead i use this custom user property because i just needed some sort of logic to to map that user as admin user so if you remember the last time what i did is i created a group in the azure ad and that group was being treated kind of an admin group so any user under that group will be treated as a admin so that logic i have implemented here so basically if that user has a group of this kind of thing i mean if the claim has this group id then i am uh, you know treating that user as an admin user so basically everything you can do through this um, configuration i guess but yeah i did that so so that that will also give us some sort of explanation or i can say some sort of you know um approach i mean what, what could be the approach if i want to implement using my own implementation or you can say the own extension or own class whatever okay so so if if you can go through this one so this is basically nothing but the existing identity so everything is there you just need to use your own based on your based on your you know provider okay so that's all basically so there are a couple of steps so this one is the main configuration so right now it is disabled so if you be, if i be, rebuild this one and basically if i publish this publish this one i'll do that now then everything should be turned on because this one is uh, this one will be there site core auth win auth auth authentication as you ready dot config basically that will inject to the site core and site core uh, will not then you know start communicating through this application okay so what else what else nothing basically so what i'm going to do now is what i'll do so this publish has already done so this is already uh, is disabled right now so what i'll do is here in the site growing authentication as you ready this is my folder this is basically the same folder right so here what i'll do is i'll uh, remove this disable x you know suffix from the file name so that will be included once that is included so what is this so if you open this one so that's basically the same that i showed from the visual studio so now if you refresh this page okay so i'm expecting a button here okay so from where the button is coming so that is also a question so this is here from here so you can see this identity providers and this is my azure ready identity provider right so here i have this caption so if you change this caption to any of them any of the custom on that you need then that will be added there okay so you can see here the sign in with azure active directory is there so what you need to do is you need to sign in with the azure ready that will be redirected to this login and that is basically using these settings that we have and then you can use this one similarly the way we used before and then from sign in it will ask you this and it will be redirect to your site core uh, page here so you can see here this is the same user arif and what i did here is um, 
one thing probably I would like to mention is yeah so I did this customization and what I did is I make sure the user belongs to this group will be administrator and I have added a custom property and you can even check this user exist in the here in the user manager so if you go user manager so I haven't used any virtual user what I have used is the direct user so that will basically create a new user to the Cisco system and through that it will be you know allowing to log into the system so you'll see here this is Arif so that's my user basically so yeah and this is my user email address you can see here as well so yeah I mean that's all so implementation is done okay one thing I have put this uh, solution to the uh, to the GitHub. So if you want to explore more, then you can take this one and then you can use actually in your solution as well. So whatever you can, you need to do, you can do that. I really don't, you really don't need to get any permission from me. Yeah, you can do that. And yeah, I will also put this one in the description so you can grab from there as well. So yeah, this is all about Sitecore um, uh, implementing or you can say integrating uh, provider to Sitecore. Uh, you can actually approach for single sign on through that yeah so literally what you can do even is you know by grabbing the uh, user token and everything from the yeah. azure ad you can use actually the other provider like facebook google whatever you you can i mean you need then you can actually do that because the customization approach is already there what you need to do is just customize if you don't find out of the box you know uh, type or class support from sitecore then you can extend like this way Okay, so that's all. I think that's not you know very complex. You can do that, and you can implement quite easily. So I'll 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 probably I'll next video what I'll do is I'll take maybe Okta or some other provider you know that is not common in Sitecore, and I'll show you step by step how can we extend all this class, and how can actually add your configuration, and then that will be working in Sitecore quite easily. So that will be uh, that will be something I'll show you in the next video. So. Hope you will you will follow that and for today that's all see you very soon bye bye